Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. So listening to this debate and, and reading about uh, the constitutional amendment before us got me thinking about a proposal, actually a bipartisan request, I should say, from uh, the beginning of the year, uh, from myself, another uh, uh, House colleague on the Republican side and a House colleague on the Democrat side. And what the uh, uh, resolution before us would do is essentially allow the uh, good people of the state of Connecticut to decide on this question, whether or not they believe the, uh, the state of Connecticut should allow uh, no excuse early voting. And it got me thinking about that request from earlier this year that unfortunately did not receive a public hearing. Uh, and it's been brought forward many years by both Republicans and Democrats, supported by Republicans and Democrats, but never seems to go anywhere. So, uh, Mr. Speaker, the clerk is in possession of LCO 3867. Uh, I ask that it be called and I'd be allowed to summarize. Will the clerk please call LCO 3867, which will be designated House Amendment C. House Amendment C, LCO number 3867, offered by Representative Carney et al. The representative seeks leave of the chamber to summarize the amendment. Is there objection to summarization? Is there objection? Hearing none, Representative Carney, you may proceed with summarization. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, so basically what this amendment would do was allow for a uh, resolution to go before the people of uh, the good state of Connecticut to amend our constitution to allow the people of the state to have a right to direct referendum. Uh, and the procedure for that would be established by the General Assembly, but it would start that process to allowing uh, the voters of this state to decide on certain policies that we send to them through referendum. Uh, I move adoption, Mr. Speaker. The question before the Chamber's adoption of House Amendment Schedule C. Will you remark on the amendment, Representative Carney? Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And, and as I discussed, this, this is about more of a direct democracy for the good citizens of the people of this state. Uh, you know, we talk about polls all across, about various issues throughout the state. You know, 70% approve this, 80% approve that. Nothing seems to happen here in the legislature, though. So this would put those policies to the test, not overwhelmingly, similar to what uh, our neighbor up north does, Massachusetts. They don't, they don't propose too many direct referendums, but they do it on certain issues and policies. I think uh, that this would be something that many people in the state of Connecticut would want. Um, it would be the purest form of democracy. Uh, it would allow important decisions to be strengthened um, by, uh, by getting consent from the people. It uh, gives decisions we make legitimacy and policies legitimacy. Uh, it would, we could educate the public more about issues by going to them because their voice matters. And I know a lot of folks in this state feel their voice doesn't matter up in this building. And it would give them that opportunity. Um, it would allow uh, uh, engagement with the citizens and it would resolve conflict within this building by saying, okay, if we can't come to a solution that we can send it then to the people of the state to decide and say whether or not they support a particular idea or proposal. 20, I believe 27 other states do this. Connecticut is not one of them. And uh, again, it would, it would allow people in this state more of an uh, uh, interaction with government and allow them to have more of a voice in this building, which is, again, I think something the people of this state desperately, desperately want. Um, while I said, unfortunately, it did not receive a uh, public hearing this year, I am hopeful that next year, uh, it can receive a bipartisan uh, proposal again, and maybe we can get that public hearing before the GAE committee to really see how the public feels about this type of a proposal. I think overwhelmingly the people of the state would support that. Um, I'm gonna end uh, with a quote by our uh, former president, Teddy Roosevelt, who said, 
I believe in the initiative and referendum, which should be used not to destroy representative government, but to correct it whenever it becomes unrepresentative. I think it's a very powerful quote. I agree with it. Um, but unfortunately, I don't believe the votes are there today. Uh, so I would like to revisit this at another time. Hopefully, have planted a seed for next year to explore this. Um, and with that, Mr. Speaker, I withdraw the amendment.